Okay, I think I had a paranormal experience today. So let me tell you about it. I came downstairs this morning to give Ziggy his food, as I do. And whilst I give him his food, I always take my vitamins. And I like to drink from, like, drink the water from the water bottle that I'm going to drink from the whole day because then it makes me feel like it it makes me feel like I'm really like ahead on my water drinking goals because it's like oh I've already drank like a quarter of the of the necessary amount (laughs) so that's why I didn't just like get it from the sink right I had to go all the way back upstairs and get my water bottle and so as I was upstairs getting my water bottle I hear this massive bang, crash, like it was long, like a long bang and a crash. And I freaked out, well, not freaked out, but I was like, what the fuck was that? Like, it sounded like a mirror breaking, but I was like, wait, what mirror? Because it was almost like a mirror had fallen down and I was standing next to the one and only like full length mirror in our house that is like, that could be like knocked over, right? Everything else is hung up on a wall. So I listen once it's done and I'm like, okay, it's not Ziggy. I can still hear him eating. So it's not him. Cause for a moment I was like, wait, was that Zeke? And then I came downstairs and for context, like our house is like quite leveled So we have like four levels in our house, the level where you walk in, the living, the dining and the kitchen. And then we have this level that I'm on now with our two offices and a bathroom and then our bedroom and an ensuite and everything is the top level. So I was on the top level and then this bathroom is, there's a bathroom here on this level. So I was like, wait, where the fuck did that come from? I run downstairs knowing that I can hear that Ziggy is fine. Um, and look into the bathroom and can see that the mirror has fallen off the wall and is just in pieces on the floor. Like the glass is coming into the hallway. Like it's everywhere. It was almost like someone had picked it up, held it horizontal or parallel to the ground and then dropped it. Like had gone like, like, dropped it like that because my thought is as well it's on the wall so how the fuck did it fall like that the other thing too is it would have okay so say because what it looked like happened was like the cord that was holding it on the hook had been cut that's what it looks like it's not frayed it looks like it's just been split in half But if it did, then wouldn't it just have slid down? And also, it's actually quite close to the vanity. Like, it hangs quite low. So wouldn't have it just slid and then gotten caught on the the sink, like the tapware? Because the tapware comes up. Would that have not stopped it? And then even if it did, say, fall forward, then wouldn't it have wouldn't it have been and then like so it fell forward and then fell off the vanity and down onto the ground wouldn't it have been the other way around like I found it like this I found it with the glass facing up where's the photo like this can you guys see that yeah so I was just I was just a bit confused. I was like, well, at the mo- at the time I was just like, oh, it's fallen down. But now that I think about it, I'm like, how did it do that? And it's also like quite far away from the from the vanity. <laughs> like like it's not directly underneath the vanity. It's like in the doorway. So anyway, at the time though, I was just like, oh, it's fallen. And so I decided to take a photo of it because if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that like on stories, I like to do a good morning post. And normally it's like a weird, disgusting, 
like feral TikTok or a funny meme or sometimes it's a picture of Ziggy if he's like being really weird and cute. Um, And so I took a picture of it and I was like, fuck it, I'll just post that as like good morning. Like, wow, great. Love it. Good. How how cool is this for me to deal with today Um, at like 8.30 in the morning? So anyway, I left it there because I was going into a session. So I left it there. I, I posted the picture with saying good morning and I did my session. And then I walked out of my session, looked at my phone and I looked at the photo again and I noticed, I noticed this. Let me zoom in so you can see. I noticed this little blue dot. And so I zoomed in and I was like, that's an orb. Cool. Maybe it could be light refraction, whatever. But like to me, it's quite opaque. Like usually orbs are kind of like, and, and they're not that color, like blue. Weird. Anyway, so I was like, this has to mean something, right? Like my mirror has been smashed. And then I started to look at like, how it was smashed and I was like "Mm, this isn't really adding up now there's this blue orb I think the universe or something or someone is trying to get my attention straight away like when I saw it I wasn't freaking out I wasn't like oh my god like a mirror just smashed I mean and I'm pretty superstitious like there was a part of me that went oh isn't that seven years of bad luck and then I was like that's not true like that's not real you know like my intuition was kind of just keeping me calm about the whole situation and like wasn't maybe not calm's not the right word but like I don't know I just there was a calmness about me anyway so I posted on Instagram and I was like oh does anybody know how to read auras like what is blue made and I was like fuck it let me just google this myself for once right here is what I fucking found So you tell me if I'm, again, you're going to tell me if I'm having a paranormal spiritual experience with this. So the first thing was pretty vague. It says blue orbs are angelic and indicate the presence of powerful archangels and spirit guides. Blue orbs are also very protective and could indicate a guardian angel. Sometimes these orbs appear in photos as a sign that you are on the right track or as a confirmation. Okay, cool. Yep. Amazing. I keep looking. I'm like, I need, I'm going to need more information than that. Need more specifics. So then I look at this other article and it says, um, it's an angel or spirit guide visitation. Many people believe that blue orbs, that a blue orb is an angel or spirit guide sharing a spiritual omen communication or guidance. Spirit guides may take up the shape of an orb since it requires less energy output than a full embodied app apparition and then it has like this little circle here and it says a spiritual blue spiritual orb is guardians spirit guides angels angel omen or an energy orb which I was like okay maybe um love positive trust calmness compassion reassurance and I was like okay this is actually making making the feelings that I had when I saw it make sense I was like okay I I I get this. Then I read this. It could also be related to your fifth chakra. Now, keep in mind what we've been talking about like yesterday and the reading that I had. It could be, uh, sorry, it is possible that the appearance of a blue orb is directly tied to the fifth chakra, the throat chakra. The chakra's vibration is the same frequency that emits the color blue. Now, I didn't mention this in yesterday's video, but flex was actually I did mention the throat chakra when we were in our session so when I saw that I was like flex literally talked about that yesterday um uh your throat chakra is the best seat for self is the seat for self-expression and communication which includes speaking and listening therefore a blue orbs appearance may share information related to the throat chakra Examples, you need to develop better communication and or listening skills. Your throat chakra is blocked and it is beginning to open. Very much like what we were talking about yesterday. It's time to express ideas or emotions that you've been resisting. 
also very connected to what we we're talking about yesterday. And then this last one, you need to give voice to your creative ideas. Okay, I was like, okay, now we're on to something. Then I scrolled down and I saw this. It simply says, it could be a ghost. This is actually a pretty controversial theory in paranormal research circles, of course. But some people theorize that a blue orb is a ghost. The blue color radiates from calm and benevolent spirits. Again, that feeling of calmness. When you have this type of encounter, it may be the spirit of someone you knew, such as a caring and loving parental figure. However, it can also be that of a pure spirit, such as a child. When I read that, I was like, wow, okay. My kid's spirit would be like, let me take this fucking um, mirror off the wall and smash it down and let my mom know that I am here and I'm coming. And, and the fact that I get a little bit emotional thinking about that, I also have had a lot of, um, I don't want to say visitations, it's a, probably a strong word, but I... I think I talked about it on the daily app, how I had this sort of experience, this angel encounter, or did I talk about it on the podcast? I can't remember. But when I went to that networking event a couple of weeks ago, I had this experience with a healer and we were talking about spirit babies and she was saying that there are spirit babies around, but there's some work, like they're just a little bit further away. And I had actually been feeling that. Again, I, I definitely talked about this in the podcast. So you can go and listen to the last recap if you kind of want the context on all of this. But I've been doing a lot of healing and a lot of um, digging and excavation and clearing in the last couple of weeks with the reading, with the massage that I had the other day. And, you know, even with just the amounts of yin yoga that I'm doing, like in Savasana, I, I, um, I actually got like the sign for like, when I'm pregnant like or when the baby's like coming or whatever like I I got a sign that I should look for I'm not going to tell you what that sign is Um, it's not that sign I'll just say that but I've been getting these sort of downloads Um, I had a little bit of like a spiritual encounter or like a really vivid connection I guess you would say with my maternal grandmother during Savasana a couple of weeks ago, maybe it was even last week, um, matriarchal line, ancestry healing, like these are, these are things that have been sort of coming up, um, a lot, which, you know, is intentional because I am on the whole, like trying to conceive journey, but seeing that and thinking like, oh, well, if a, knowing that it felt like it was, something that took this off the wall and smashed it and when I like looking at it I'm like this doesn't really make sense I'm not saying that that happened but it looks like that and then seeing that like blue orbs a ghost like to me if it's a ghost it's gonna be bigger like if it's an orb and it's a like a a, like ghost of a person I feel like it's going to be bigger. But if it was a baby, it would be small like that, right? Just a soul. I don't know. I probably sound fucking cracked right now. And like I said, I don't know. Do you guys think that I had a paranormal experience? I kind of want a little bit of validation. I'm not going to lie. So it's up for debate. I think I might have. And then I think I'm just going to leave it at that. But let me know what you think, if you dare to let me know down in the comments. Okay. Rock on. 